Thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel. I'm Dr. K. DeRay Raj, Beauty by Dr. K, and we're going to talk about the importance of the apple of the cheek today with gorgeous actress Miss Margot Graff. Yay! All excited to learn about why the apple of the cheek is so important for feminine, youthful beauty. So we just did a little touch of cheek filler, and this is very specialized, so we're placing it submalar to give an apple of the cheek. And we can see the difference between this cheek, which is super gorgeous, and this cheek, which is now even more feminine and uplifted, and I just think it looks very curvaceous and pretty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this concept of the apple of the cheek is important. I think a lot of times I focus on the cheekbone structure, and I always want to get a nice uplift in here, and it lifts heaviness, but often we ignore and neglect this this area of the face, the medial cheek right in here, which we need to have a rounded medial cheek for the under eye to look youthful and for it to not drag down. So we need that rounding. That looks youthful. This looks tired. And we also need a little bit of round, gorgeous apple of the cheek. And that looks like the brain interprets a good apple of the mm -hmm. cheek as, you know, feminine, um, fertile. And it young. also helps with the smile lines. Like you don't want to put does. stuff in the smile lines. It'll make your face look puffy. So you you lift, and that actually takes it away without needing to make this part fuller as well. See, I love that she really studies the curves and angles of mm -hmm. her face. And I'm an addict. <laughs> <laughs> I tell her to put the microscope away. But in some cases, it's good to really think about where your face needs volume. And at home, you can do that too, where you kind of pull up, pull mm -hmm. back, and experiment on like, okay, what vector is going to make me look the way I want to look? So let's work on apple of the cheek. And I've already had previously done some markings, which I'll usually mark from the lateral canthus of the eye to the oral commissure, and from the nose, nasal ala, all the way to the tragus. So once I look at the position of the zygoma, I'm going to ask her to do a little kissy face, do a little more. And that really helps me to see where that zygomatic bone structure is and where the point of maximal protrusion is. And then we are going to place our filler boluses relative to that. So in my mind's eye, I'm imagining where the zygomatic projection juts out the most. I'm going to give some little touch of radius. Remember, this is a calcium-based filler. I'm keeping my needle moving at all times. I'm doing small micro-droplet retrograde injection technique. And that's one of the best ways to avoid injury or vascular occlusion. I'm also injecting directly on periosteum, which is very important here to avoid any injection into abnormal arteries or into uh, foramina of the bone. And as I inject, I'm just kind of feeling where I want the bone to protrude most maximally to give a rounded, pretty um, cheekbone projection. And, beautiful apple of the cheek. She might get one little bruise right in here, so I'm going to hold my finger right on that. I'm looking for symmetry. We're trying to go in the same pattern and make a little kissy face again. I'm also going to march up the cheek and watch for the um, lateral maxillary vein, which very often you can feel, and if we drop a line from the lateral canthus all the way down, it typically will cross right there. And very often we'll feel a hollow and it's important to fill that hollow, but we'll have to approach it laterally from the side because we don't want to inject into a vein, nerve artery bundle, or complex. So that's a nice approach to creating a beautiful apple of the cheek. And as we, when we finish today, she'll feel a little swollen. She'll feel like it's a little bit more than she wants. Remember, every filler is water-based. This is a gel because there's liquid in it. As the liquid gets absorbed, this will settle down 20 mm -hmm. to 30% less and it'll be just right in about seven to 10 days. But the first four or five days, you'll feel a little swelly, and that's just normal. So that's a beautiful contour. One tiny bruise right here, but that'll go down. And mm -hmm. we can see that that's given her support um, here, taking weight off the nasolabial folds, adding a beautiful curve to the cheeks. I wanna make sure I look from all positions and look for symmetry, and she feels still a little hollow here. Smile big. We'll do one more droplet of filler there. And it doesn't take much. I would say it just took a quarter of a syringe on each cheek just to give that support. And that's it. That's an apple of the cheek treatment. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and send us comments below. And Margo, what's your YouTube? Do you have a YouTube channel? Uh, yes, it's Margo Graf. Just search me and all my stuff will pop up. Fabulous and famous and so fun. And she tells all her secrets. So check it out.